Hello guys from Fabrico Town, today it's gonna be a special edition because I'm going to talk about in the first part of the video uh, about the rivalry between Djokovic and Carlos Alcaraz so far and Italy's win in the Davis Cup, uh, Italy reaches the Davis Cup semi-finals but now starting with uh, the Djokovic-Alcaraz uh, rivalry, they have faced each other uh, five times uh, now Djokovic is leading the rivalry even though at the beginning it was Carlos Alcaraz leading 1-0 and 2-1. They faced each other in two majors. We all remember this year at the French Open where Djokovic won in four sets. Of course, the quality of the first two sets there was amazing. Their first matchup was on clay in Madrid where Carlos Alcaraz won a free setter epic. And as I forget, after their French Open clash, there was a Wimbledon final where Carlos Alcaraz won in five sets. That was his second uh, major of his career. After that, they face in another thrilling match uh, the Cincinnati at the Western Southern Open uh, Championship. Another incredible match. We don't know how Djokovic managed to win. He had some problems with the heat. It was really hot that day, but he managed to win uh, an epic. Of course, the last match at the Nitro ATP Finals, which resulted in Djokovic's second win in a row against the Spaniard, was not that thrilling because uh, Djokovic dominated Carlos Alcaraz all all match, it was like 6-3, six, 6-2, six, six, a dominant display from the serve from uh, who went on to to win. But it's incredible that uh, from that Wimbledon matchup he had with Carlos Alcaraz, he almost never lost a match. His only loss came at the Nito ATP Finals recently against Yannick Sinner. But I would say it's quite um, a good rivalry between Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic. Why? It's because they always push, push each other to the limit. They make each other... Uh, Better players, uh, I think uh, it's a um, really good rivalry. It's not uh, too much one-sided. They have faced each other on hard uh, clay and grass, almost well, all the surfaces. And uh, it's going to be interesting how it's going to develop. It's already Djokovic's second win. We'll see if Carlos Alcaraz can invert the trend. But uh, it's a pretty nice uh, rivalry. And let's consider the fact that also Djokovic is... 16 years younger than Carlos Alcaraz, so it's not really uh, easy to keep up with a younger guy. And now, uh, speaking of the Davis Cup match between the Netherlands and Italy, Italy um, lost the first match. Arnaldi was very close to winning the first match against Botic van de Sanschul. He lost in three sets. He even had a match point, but unfortunately he lost. Then Yannick Sitter uh, played very well. He went on to face uh, Talon Griekspoor. He won 7-6, 6-1. Six, uh, six, six, in the first set, Talon Griekspoor could keep up with uh, Yannick Sinner's pace, and after in the second, he couldn't keep up. He really served very well, and that's a good reaction after the heartbreaking loss in the uh, uh, Turin Nito ATP Finals. And he played really solid, and then he went on to play the doubles with Lorenzo Sonego, and they also won the doubles. So Italy, it's going to head to the semi-final of the Davis Cup. Let's see what Serbia will uh, will do uh, this evening against uh, Great Britain. I hope to see another clash between Sinner and Djokovic. Uh, I really like this rivalry. I hope they're going to face many more times. Also, coming back to Carlos Alcaraz and Djokovic, I really hope they also face there many times. Uh, I think Serbia has a good chance to uh, qualify for the semifinal. It's true that they have Djokovic. The other players are not on that level. We, in the Serbian team, we have Lajo, Dusan Lajovic, uh, uh, Laszlo uh, Jerez. So... Krajinovic also is a good player, but they're not on the level of Djokovic, but it's going to be really interesting to see uh, what will happen. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. As always, if you like the channel, hesitate to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. And see you next time.